welcome to our beginners top tips and helping you to understand that if I can do it, you can do it. So if you're a complete beginner to strength training or kettlebell training, know that it's something that you can get started with and be addicted to as much as I am seven years later. Even if you're somebody who's not naturally athletic or really enjoys exercise, this can be the answer to getting results and feeling sexy strong really quickly. So I can't not do a tutorial on the hip hinge, which is our fundamental movement pattern, which is going to be the basis of our deadlifts and our swings. So you've probably heard of a kettlebell swing before. You've probably maybe seen a kettlebell swing before. And if you haven't, don't worry, we've got you covered with full blog posts with videos and step-by-step -step tutorials, not just on the blog, but also on our YouTube channel. But I want to just cover the motion or the hip hinge as a range of motion so that you know what it is and the com common concerns, right? So first of all, what am I talking about here? So with regards to the kettlebell swing, it uses the thing called a hip hinge. Now, when I first started with kettlebell training, in fact, when I first did my personal training qualification, I had no idea what my hips were supposed to do. <laughs> I didn't even know if I knew where my hips were. I know that sounds really weird, but I didn't really know what hips did. So for me, this was an education. So I'm passing that education on to you, right? So hips have the ability to do a couple of things. This is called a hinge, but you've also probably heard of adduction and abduction. Yeah, so they're moving that way, yeah. And then they can also do, and I'm moving because there's a bell there, this way, yeah. So it, it's quite, quite a, you know, uniformal area. But the thing is about this area, this is a female's powerhouse. This is where we're stronger. Yeah. But also where we hold a lot of tension. Also, you know, if you've had babies, you can have complications here. If we're sitting down a lot, if we haven't done a lot of strength training and don't have a lot of muscle mass, um, we can also be, if we've had babies, had tilted areas in terms of our posture, if we've carried babies, you know, on our hips, sorry, baby, baby on a hip like that, right? Or we've been carrying heavy handbags, we're in high heels, all of these things can have knock on effects in our hip area. Now, the good news is, the best news ever, is that the kettlebell swing uh, and, and the deadlift, which you'll learn also later, are the answer to this for you to be able to re engage your butt, also known as your gluteus maximus which protects your lower back, hello, and gives you a J-Lo bottom. What more do you want, right? So in order to do that, you need to master the hip hinge. So you need to learn how to hinge. Now, what I have noticed recently, having te um, been teaching uh, my son also to do a kettlebell swing after him having a big break of not being doing it, and been sitting down a lot, hello, we were, we were in the middle of a pandemic, we all sat down and worked from home a lot was that our tightness of our lower back can stop us from really sticking that bum out, right? So what I was finding is that he was really like here, okay? Or he'd try to do that, yeah? Versus really try to get that hinge motion. So what I want to show you first of all, and I'd like you to do this with me, is what is the hinge and how to get to there, and then also some general stretches or practices that you need to, to, to loosen that up. So first of all, imagine somebody's pushing you with your hips. You're not allowed to move your feet, yeah? And you can bend your knees and they're pushing you back so that you're mooning the crowd back there, hello. Or sometimes I like to say you're a little fluffy duck fluffing his wings up, yeah? So you wanna make sure that you are nice and pushed back. So you wanna push those hips back. Your core is nice and tight and your shoulders are down, yeah? So this is not a squat. Can you see the difference? This is a hinge. So how I know I'm hinging is I feel a little fire on the back of my knees as my um, hamstrings engaged. I feel it also at the top of my bum with the hamstrings engaged. And I feel like my lower back is stretching and smoothing. So if you have difficulties doing that, there's a couple of stretches, one of which I'm just going to show you on the wall. You're going to see my bum a lot, but you can do this, <laughs> or I can even show you on this actually, might be better, is you want to put your hands here and you want to drag your bum back like somebody's got your tail. You're pushing your armpits 
into the ground in your chin and keep your gaze down. Relax your shoulders and your neck. But you want to push that out. Imagine someone's got your tail and they're pulling you back as much as you can and stretch that out. You want to definitely do that before you start your kettlebell training, but also maybe do it while you're making a cup of tea, <laughs> right? Just to start to stretch that lower back out. Now we've got lots more lower back exercises that we can help you with to stretch that so that as you're building up your glutes, you're also lengthening and relaxing and um, releasing that lower back. But kettlebell training will help you to build the glutes, to help you to strengthen the lower back, but also we want you to help to lengthen and release any sort of tightness through that lower back pain. So if you haven't already, go check out our tutorials on the kettlebell swing. You can find them on YouTube, including the hinge and the hip snap and all of these things. And let us know how you've got on with how it's changed your own kettlebell swing.